Greetings from SQL Planner team. In this video, we will be looking at the dashboard related to SQL Pass DB model, be it on Azure or Amazon environment or Google Cloud. Anywhere you have hosted SQL database, SQL Planner is capable enough to make several dashboard metric report and send you different different alerts which have more than 20 different type of alerts covered here. Let's look into the dashboard directly, which is relevant to SQL Path TV model. In the dashboard, we will be looking at several alerts that have been raised by SQL Planner related to SQL Path TV model. As we can see, we are monitoring the database which uh, database server which is at this connection and it has two database in this server. Coming to dashboard, we can see from past 24 hour, we have detected server offline event which is related to SQL Path TV and we can see it has raised two times of it. Clicking on detail, we can see easily what time it was not able to reach to the server and for what reason. We can see details here. We can also do the filter and focus on a specific server. Coming to next alert, we also can see uh, this Azure Path TV has one deadlock occurred. The third we can also see alert is connection field. If you want to see details about what was the reason why it failed, we can see click on detail report and we can see the detail. Now coming to deadlock, we have separate UI itself wherein we are telling how many deadlock has occurred and what time. Now, if we want to take a look at the dashboard of related to the SQL path DB, we can see several DTU uses SQL deadlock reasons and on. To see that, we can simply either click on analyze server and click on analyze server health or we can also, you know, from dashboard, we can directly come here to this page. We need to select this server. We are currently monitoring two database under this server which is at past TV model and we would say show me the report from last two days. There we go. We can see in a single graph everything. Everything in the sense we can see DTU uses, instance level of CPU available, memory consumption, what is the, the, the memory at the instance level available to this server, XTP storage, worker, session, percentage. If you want to take a look at the detail at these graphs, we have this information here. So it tells you the graph, these numbers are in either in percentage, these graphs are in average or max level of percent basically. So some of them like DTU data uses are in average. Workers and sessions are in max level of percentage. Let's focus on this particular time when we see that DTU usage is very high and we would like to know what is the root cause behind it. So we would go uh, to executed query tab and we will notice 624 is the time when this DTU was spiked up, okay? Simply click on executed query. We can easily relate, okay? At 624 minute, we were running this query, which took this much of CPU time and average duration was this much. Which client had executed is listed here. What was the username under which database, etc. Now, if we just wanted to focus on a specific uh, report itself, let's say in our case, I want to focus on DTU only. So I would simply click on this and strike it out. 
so I can only focus on DTO related. If ever I have to focus on log related or data related, I would simply click like this. So I see, okay, all the data percentage was very much normal condition. Great. Now we saw at the alert dashboard that there was one data log, okay? So we can see easily under this database, we had only one data log and what was if we want to see hourly deadlock count, this is the graph to refer. Second, if we want to see the detail level of information, for example, what was the winner query, what was the victim query, application and user who was running this query can be listed everything here. Connectivity and heartbeat is the report when it tells you that it was not reachable at a specific time and that time you can see. Similarly, under SQL Server Log Error Report, we will be able to see what are, how many events has occurred when there were some critical event has been raised. So the list of, there are list of alerts which we track it is listed here. So under CPU, memory and low data space category, we have certain alerts that we raise. So SQL log will be capturing it at the connection field and throttling, throttling long transaction events will occur here and it will be listed here. Missing index will populate uh, and it will give you a hint, hint about missing of indexes that will be very much important to speed up your query if you want to take a look at the second database report you simply hit select your database under this and click on show report now if we want to look at the data space utilization from all the past db model server and for all the databases the Azure SQL DB space report is the one we need to select. If we select this, we can see under this instance, we have several databases whose data consumption and max data size, which is listed here. And this is the report. If we want to drill into further disk related storage report, we can go to this uh, analyze server disk and db storage and we have to choose our uh, server name and we'll say simply hit uh, show me the storage consumption report from last five days for example okay disk storage we don't have disk in uh, in a past db model we only have database only so we would switch to other database storage and we can see all the list of databases under this server and we can see detail of this okay if we want to do drill down to further table level of information and index level of storage we should simply click on detail report and we can see you know trend wise storage consumption and the table level of storage information If ever you want to see analyze, you know, uh, the storage utilization from past past n number of days, you can simply come below and focus on these databases. And you can see, you know, I have just one disk db temp db, which was, you know, using high space under under temp database. Okay. Now, if you ever want to see how many alerts had been raised from SQL Planner related to specific server, you can simply click, uh, you know, uh, show me historical alert list and come here on this page, wherein you can focus only on specific server and see what are where the list of alerts that was raised. Hope you would like this uh, dashboard. Write your comment about your feedback or 
anything else you would like to have more in our tool thank you have a great day